Can I share before we go any further? This is, this is such a huge night for me because I, this is going to sound weird, but I wake up to you every morning. You're the first face I see when I wake up. Because yeah, yeah, I am, uh, my wife sleeps in, so I wake up usually by myself. Everyone sleeps in, and I'm a and baker. So I get up, get stoned. First thing I do is watch your show from the night before, and I'm like, preach, preach. Like, Kevin, I feel exactly the same way about him, and I greet the morning exactly the same way, especially since the election. He's about the only guy keeping me sane right now. But I am trying to go after Donald Trump's rather radical ideology using some humor, and I'd love to get your feedback, so I've already got tickets for your visit to the December the 11th performance here in Denver, Colorado. So look for the grumpy old white man in the audience. And since I introduced myself to Donald with a rather long bio, I thought I'd take a little pick of that for you. And here's a selection of just my split personalities. I'm going to introduce you to a few of my great character voices. And at the end, I will introduce you to my battered child. First off, Mr. Trump, I've traveled this nation from one end to the other. I know how to talk to the lobster fishermen up in Maine, down to the people that live in Boston. Of course, if I'm down in New Jersey, this to my cousins. You know what? I gotta talk a lot different down there. Say than I would down south where I'm talking to my relatives. Out here in the West, we're kind of like John Wayne toilet paper. We're rough, we're tough, and we don't take crap off of anybody. Uh, I also happen to speak frog. Or I can be a Liverpoolian in if you'd like. That's a person who lives in Liverpool, England. Hey, Donnie, let me ask you a question. Do you happen to remember Gabby Hayes, Roy Rogers' sidekick? What the hell do you mean you're a Walter Brennan fan? Gabby Hayes talked way down here. Walter Brennan talked way up here. <laughs> As Catherine Hepburn began to grow older, her voice began to crack. Peter Laurie, however, was my favorite voice of all time. This man had the most unusual accent. He could say anything, and people were just fascinated to listen to what he had to say. Arnold Schwarzenegger is currently my greatest hero, but you Americans mispronounce his name. It is Arnold, not Schwarzenegger. It is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzen, black, Egger, farmer. He is a black farmer, you understand? But. If you're looking for someone to pump up your image, Arnold will try. Do or do not do. There is no try. And now, meet my friend Quasi. Hello. I'm Quasimoto. I'm part of Jack's better child. You may know me from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I rescued the girl. And you may not know that I had an identical brother, but he passed away. We were dead ringers. Wow, <laughs> that takes a lot out of me uh, to get back into those kind of things. Kevin Smith, help the grumpy old white man. He is humanity's last great hope for against the evil forces that are accruing. Hello, Mr. Smith. I'm also planning to try to be at one of your three Denver shows coming up here in December. So, while I I'm here, I was hoping I might ask a favor. I know it is funny of an old woman, but in the spirit of Donald Trump, would you grab my pussy while you're here? She's normally sleeping at the bottom of my bag, but uh, she's kind of wild. You may need gloves. Oh, Kevin, one more thing. Can you give me a current price on Superman versus Muhammad Ali? <laughs> Have a fun time.